Yo guys, Rethink Solutions here. I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can significantly improve your Fortnite performance in the new chapter and um, in the new season as well. And I'm going to be showing you guys some easy, quick ways that won't break your PC at all and it'll definitely improve you guys' performance and uh, it's going to improve you guys' frame rate as well as lower your latency. Uh, these are just some extremely simple and quick tweaks, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Alrighty guys, now the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is download the link that's going to be in the description below and we're going to download the Fortnite Chapter 4 Optimization Pack. So let's go ahead and head over to the media file link. You guys may automatically download off rip, but if not, you guys can click the little download button that'll be right here. Well, now let's go ahead and drag this pack out to our desktop. Let's go ahead and double click it to open it up. We're going to click on the folder that's inside of the zip and drag it out to your desktop. Now I'm going to have you guys double click it. And it's going to open up the folder here. Now the first step we're going to go ahead and do is right click devicecleanup.exe. You're going to click on devices. Click on select all. You guys might have a lot more than me. You're going to click devices again and remove selected. This is going to clear any history of uh, old data that's just being stored on your computer from uh, updating devices and just plugging in and disconnecting devices. Now the second thing we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to right click Fortnite underscore optimization dot bat. Click run as administrator. Press any key. You can just hit the enter key. It's going to reset your Fortnite config. You guys are going to type in your FPS. I'm 240 FPS, so you guys can type 240 here. If you're 144, type 144. Or if you're 165, type 165. So I'm going to type 240. I play 1920 by 1080p, but whatever you guys play, put your resolution here. 1920 by 1080. I do play performance mode, so I'm going to click yes. And then it's going to go ahead and optimize the directory for you. It's going to also disable and enable some other settings and it's also going to enable what's called exclusive full screen which is going to make your game run significantly better. Now you guys can hit the enter key again and it'll close out. From this point on let's go ahead and right click MSI utility v3 and click run as administrator. From here you're going to look for your graphics card. I have a RTX 2070 Super. And you guys are going to tick the little MSI box right here next to your graphics card. From here, click on the top right and click on apply. And that's all you're going to do. Then click the X. From here, let's right click the win32 priority separator.exe. Click run as administrator. Click OK. And from here, we're going to change this value to 26. Now we can go ahead and hit close. You guys can also try out uh, 28 as well. Or you guys can try out 2A or quadruple F, 3F91. Whichever one you guys prefer, you can test them all out. Um, 28 is going to feel pretty good as well as quadruple F, 3F91. But um, for the, just the default, you can keep it on 26. Now we're going to right click our screen here and we're going to click on NVIDIA control panel. Uh, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, this part is going to be for you. If not, you can go ahead and skip over this part. Let's click on NVIDIA control panel and it should bring up this menu here. Let's click manage 3D settings, program settings. We're going to click add. You're going to scroll down and look for Fortnite. It's going to have the little logo next to it. Then you're going to click Add Selected Program. From here, let's go and full screen this. Image Scaling, let's turn this off. Anti-Stropic Filtering, let's turn this off. Anti-Aliasing FXAA, let's turn this off. Gamma Correction, turn this off. Anti-Aliasing Mode, turn this off. Anti-Aliasing Setting, None. Transparency Off. 
background application max frame rate off kudu gpus all low latency mode if you guys use nvidia boost you guys can leave this off if you use boost and reflex if you don't use boost and reflex and you're on an older driver you can turn this to on i personally use boost and reflex so i'm going to go ahead and keep this off but you guys can go ahead and try it on as well whichever one you'd like i would definitely test max frame rate keep off multi-frame sampled AA keep off open GL compatibility click on prefer performance open GL rendering GPU click on your graphics card power management mode click on perform maximum performance preferred refresh rate highest available anti-stropic sample options we're gonna go ahead and turn this on negative load BIOS allow Texture filtering, turn this on high performance. Trilinear optimization, keep this on. Threaded optimization, keep this on. Triple buffering off. Vertical sync, turn this off. Virtual reality pre rendered frames, keep this at one. And Vulcan and GL uh, preset rested, keep it at auto. And then you guys are going to go ahead and click apply. And the bottom right here. So as soon as you guys are done with that, let's go ahead and click on Configure Sound X. Change your physics settings to your graphics card. And if you guys do play native, um, if you do play your native monitor resolution, so my monitor is 1080p and I play 1080p in game, turn this to no scaling and untick this box. So if you guys play your monitor's uh, normal resolution in game, turn this to no scaling and untick this box. You're going to click on desktop at the top, click on enable developer settings, and then you're going to have this little option here, manage GPU performance counters. You're going to be able to hit this to allow, and you're going to click in the bottom right. So then after you guys hit apply, your screen may go black and just reset for a second, and then you guys can click the top right X and close out of this. Now, let's go ahead and do one more thing. We're going to go ahead and hover over the Windows button here. We're going to right click and you're going to click settings. From here, we're going to click on system. We're going to click about. We're going to click system, advanced system settings. My apologies. Settings. And then we're going to click adjust for best performance. And we're going to click apply. We're going to hit the top left arrow. We're going to click gaming. We're going to turn off the Xbox game bar. Make sure this is off. Captures, make sure all of this is off. In game mode, we're going to turn this on. Now you guys can go ahead and exit out of this. And despite what anyone might want to say, game mode is actually pretty good. The only thing left to do here, guys, is going to be to go ahead and restart your computer fully. So let's go ahead and uh, you'd click here, and then you guys would click restart uh, as soon as you guys are ready. Uh, and I hope you guys have had a fantastic day. Um, I hope this video helped a lot, and I hope this improved you guys' frames. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's been Chris with Rethink Solutions. Thanks for watching.